Hello everybody and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Today we are going to be playing Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit. This is my absolute favorite game of all time. Uh, and the reason for that, what, the reason why it's so close to my heart, is I played this game back when I was a child. Now some of you who are older might say, oh you're still a child, you're only 19. Well yeah, that may be true, but I've been playing this game since I was about 6 or 7. This game came, came out, pardon me, in 1998. Uh, then it was High Stakes. You're going to turn into me. Yep. Then it was High Stakes. Uh, and then it was Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2, which was also a fantastic game. Uh, the, those are my two favorite games, is this one and Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2. I think for the simple fact that Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 had such a large variety of cars. Okay. Yep. That was predictable that he was going to turn into me. Oh, that Corvette's gaining on us. Both Corvettes, actually. Anyways, so like I said, the reason why I really liked Hot Pursuit 2 as well is because there was such a large variety of cars. Now, I may do a full playthrough of that if in the near future I would like to. Um, but... Oh! I think that might be our first one. No, no, no. Go this way. Go this way. Yep. Yep. That's how we do it. Now... Now we go this way. Nice. That was smooth. Okay, now we're back on track. Now we can get away. We got away from our first ticket. We're good. So, anyways, like I said, I might be doing a series on that in the near future. Uh, I could do a full playthrough of the game. That would be kind of fun, actually. But, at the time, I'll use a less graphically powering game. And that will be Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit. Oh, uh, we just spun him out. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Beep, beep. Anyways. So, like I said, we'll use the less graphically consuming game. That'll be Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit. Now, to put you into context, I used to play this on my dad's old Vio computer. Where's our plane? Oh, he's not there. Maybe we'll see him next lap. Anyways, I used to play this on my dad's old Vio computer. To put you into context of how old or how young I was when I played this game. And what I would do on all of these courses, and I'll tell you the story with the plane, is I would sit on the side of the road and watch the plane for, you know, 10, 20 minutes on end, just sitting there watching it. And I mean, don't ask me why. I liked anything with an engine back then. I still do. I still find anything with an engine to be amazing. And I just realized we don't have any traffic. We don't have traffic enabled, and I will do that in the next video. I totally forgot to do that. However... Oh! Oh, nice! That works! So there we go. But anyways, I would sit on the side of the road watching the plane for a long time. And the reason for that was because I loved anything with an engine. Um, and I would do that as well on the... Oh, we're done. We are done. No, we're not done. <laughs> See you, suckers. Bye. Bye. Have a good time. Oh, my God. Oh, there's half the county on us, man. We're running. There's half the county on us. Jeez. There's four of them. Hurry up. <laughs> my goodness. I've never had that many. Um... Uh, that's probably because the Corvette. <laughs> the Corvette doesn't have any on him either. But we're losing him slowly, slowly but surely. Oh, the spike strip has no effect on me. You gotta make that spike strip longer, dude. You gotta make it the whole length of the. Oh! I did not see him coming. We're good. Oh no 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 no. No no no. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're done. We're done. We're done. Your accelerator stuck and let you off with a warning, but don't try it again. Yeah, we just led you on a what? A two and a half lap race pursuit around the course, and you're gonna give me a warning. Good on ya. Yeah, let's uh, let's go with that. So, that, that's a funny thing that I love about this game. The cops have no re no regard for safety. Um, you know, they turn into walls. They they slam right into ya. These cars, obviously, they're indestructible because, you know, back in 19, 1998, every car was indestructible and uh, Need for Speed took that into account. So, 
Obviously, that's not the truth, but, you know. It's always good to have a little fun. And this game is all about fun, believe me. I love this game. Just because it's, just because it's fun, you know? So let's see if we can, if we can predict who we're going to see next. Maybe, well, there was 31. Let's see. If it's a Corvette, it'll either, I think it'll be 20. Oh, no, it's, oh, dang it, it's 38. Wow. Oh, this guy's 40. Six? Oh, you're turning that way. Oh, my God. We have the entire county on us again. <laughs> there's, there's the entire county. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, we'll lose him. Jeez. <laughs> the one thing I love about the roadblocks is they cover about a third of the road. So you can easily go around them. However, if they're on a curve... Obviously, it's hard to predict that, uh, and it's hard to have reaction time to do that. So, you know, good on them for putting the, the roadblocks where they are. Uh, sometimes on the on the corners, because if, you, if it was a straightaway, you could obviously be like, oh well, you know, I'm just gonna go left or, or right around the roadblock. However, when they are in a position on the on a curve, you can't see that coming. So that's why it's pretty funny, and I think it's pretty smart of them. Artificial intelligence for the win. One thing I like to do is I like to uh, I like to comprehend or try to wonder what ah uh, there we go let's hit the wall what kind of accent those guys have because I, I think I think they're Canadian I really want to believe they're Canadian because they just sound Canadian like when you hear 40 uh, 40 46 unit 46 I believe like 46 the county like you know maybe he's from Minnesota. I don't know. We'll say, we'll say he's either Canadian or from Minnesota. You're going to turn into me. No, you're not. Oh, you... Oh, uh-oh. It's the county. It's the cavalry. <laughs> There's the whole cavalry. Oh, you're sneaky. See, that's what I mean. Yeah, and they just hit the spike strip. And, yeah, okay. Yeah, see, that that was what I meant back there. That They are so smart to put it on a curve. Because if you take that curve how you're supposed to at the right speed, you would totally hit that thing. There's no way you can break the, predict that that was going to be there. Speed limit 50 miles an hour. Screw you. Speed limit 50 miles an hour. We make our own rules. We're driving an it'll design Chigura, which is basically an Alfa Romeo. So, you know, concept cars for the win. Anyways, with that being said, woo, we finished our race. That is going to be it for my first YouTube video. Let's hear what he has to say. Congratulations, you're most wanted. Congratulations, we are most wanted. Now, with that being said, I'm going to be making this series, uh, this game, I should say, into a series. And what that's going to entail is I will be recording, or trying to record, uh, me driving the Jaguar. If you know this game, you know that the Jaguar XJ9, I believe is the slowest car in the game. And one thing I love to do is I love to challenge myself and see if I can get through nine laps of every race without getting a ticket in the Jaguar. And I've never been able to do it, so I figured I'd make it into a YouTube video or a YouTube series per se. So, with that being said, thank you so much for watching the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.